Good evening. It's another episode of Women's Baseball, the Inside Pitch, and it's about forty degrees where I am. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know also what. It's... Forty degrees here. Also forty degrees. <laughs> this I don't know. This is I don't know which jacket is best. Tani, Brooke. I think ours are the same. Mine looks a lighter shade, but it's the yeah. same year. This was our Tona chuck. Uh, my first year was Ipswich, so that's when I would have got it. Are we so you might have had it before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So am I the um, sad one that doesn't have one? This is actually Sam's jacket. I actually joined the team after <laughs> these got retired, so I'm not sure what's happened. I feel like a Michelin man. It's actually – um, it? It's very it's very 80s, but somehow at the time it was really cool. You look like, you know, so I'm, cool. Yeah, I am. You look like Steve Puff Marshmallow Man from uh, Ghostbusters. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure how long I can sit in this, but – Welcome, no, sweating. my guest <laughs> this evening. I'm going to take this thing off. It's got to come off. It's like it's like those pants. You just go off. Oh, oh the old Adidas. <laughs> this is yeah. the snap on. Okay, we're all yeah. off. Okay, so okay. Brooke McLean now Shields. Welcome. Yes, you are. Thanks, first, mate. Thanks for having me. First time on Women's Baseball: The Inside Pitch. We got old mate on the right. She's um she's been here before. Mm-hmm. Tiny Lovering. <laughs> I'm jumping in to help out my, my buddy after a New South Wales loss. I'm not leaving here uh, solo with you and ready to gang up on her. Thank you, my friend. I need the support. Yeah, I'm here for you, buddy. We are. No ganging up on us. We are here. We are joining. It's about 10.42. We have, um, we have I've just received a message from, from Morgan Doty, who has been a superstar for the first three games. She said, I might have to do the interview in the bus, which I actually think is fantastic. <laughs> so, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched the games tonight, Victoria, 10-2. <clears throat> bad, conne- bad connection. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so much. Victoria up 10-2 against New South Wales. Cracker of It's always a cracker of the game. I did say if New South Wales... Had <laughs> this is actually I think Sam's hat, so I'm going to have to make it bigger because I have a nugget. I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this on, and it's just oh, I can't, <laughs> can't do it. It's going back on. Um, yes, girls, the game. Brooke, to you first. What did you think of the game? Uh, I thought it started out quite well. It's a bit of a, a bugger that it blew out um, towards the end, but I thought there were some real positives that the girls can take away from it. Um, but I think Vic was just too strong for us tonight, unfortunately. So, you know, there's there's lots of young girls. There's, a, you know, a bit of a lo- – lots of young blood coming through, which is nice to see. So I think, you know, the more experience the girls get, the better they're going to get as well. So, mm. you know, just didn't go our way tonight, unfortunately. Mm. Tom? Um, I think, yeah, same as what Brooke said, we're always looking at the positives um, as New South. And I think the fact that we have some, we have some heady hit, heavy, heavy hitters in our lineup and we only, I think, we had a, quite a few hits, but they're all singles. So mm. realistically, I don't think we're really um, connected up the, with the ball as well as we can. So I think that's something that we can look at and go, well, you know what? We didn't really drive any like we can. So we've still got that in our back pockets. We still haven't really hit our stride. Um in the in this game tonight, but I think that's something that that will definitely come because, like I said, we've got some we've got some big boppers that can really um, drive the alleys for extra base hits there. So once we start hitting those sorts of those sorts of straps, then I think things will start to look up as well. What did you guys think about yeah. the start? I think it was a very um, similar start. I think at the top of the first, obviously, a couple of runs from both teams on similar but different scoring, and then it was uh, three up, three down for both teams in the second. What did you make of both pitches? Darts, um, Brooke. I guess Chloe Jones first, and then Abby Kelly. Yeah, I thought Chloe. She had a bit of a tough start. You know, those lead-off walks are always going to hurt. Um, and I think she just needed to settle in, which she did in the second inning. She come out, you know, come out firing in that second inning. So she she backed it up well after a little bit of a rocky start. Um, and Abby, you know, similarly, she did. She did. She had a great game, Abby. Actually, I thought she did very well tonight. Um, but, you know, I think probably the one I want to mention is probably more Claire, who came in at the end mm. and just held, you know, she didn't let six, any more runs six in. Six Ks at the end there? Like quite a few yeah. Ks. Six Ks, was it? Yeah. Like, she... um, yeah. So, like quite a few. I don't know if it was six, we'd have to ask, but yeah. Yeah. She did a good job to contain those hitters at the end, I think. So, um, but I think New South Wales has still got a few up their sleeve that, you know, can really hurt a couple of our strong pitches to go. You know, I know that Jordan hasn't thrown yet and neither has Lulu. So, um, you know, thankfully, that you know, it's always it's never good to have a loss, but thankfully at this stage 
of the tournament, it doesn't hurt, which is, you know, a positive for us, I think. Yeah, it's interesting when we're talking about, and Tani, I think we all, all of us spoke today about who is the ace for New South Wales? Well, I think on, on any given day, it can be different people. I mean, I've seen, that, that's the good thing with our lineup as well, is some of our, some of our ace pitchers are our two-way players. Like, we've mm. got, we've got the Tabrets, we've got the, the Clares, the Lulus, um, we've got Jordans who doesn't pitch. Like, I don't think there's uh, any one person who you like, that's our go-to. I think on any given day, anyone can step up and do the job, which is a nice thing. So, mm. yeah. um, I don't think, yeah, I don't think that's a question of, oh, who are we going to go to? We've got no one. It's kind of, hey, hey, Takara. Oh, hang it's on. Kind of... We've got it. I mean, I'm feeling real. I'm feeling really outnumbered. Here. Hey, mate. This is. Sorry, I'm struggling to hear you. I don't have any audio for some reason. Oh, well, that's gonna. Can I rejoin? Need... Come back in. It's all good. We'll be sitting here talking. Well, she can't. We can say anything. She's not going to know what we say. So we say yes, rejoin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thumbs up. <laughs> Go back out, come back out. Come back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. She got that. This is all good. Good hands. I feel like... Well done. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, um, yeah, so, I mean, with our, with our lineup, I think that we'll be, um, we'll be good to go. And um, I know Brooke was um, mentioning earlier that's a good thing we've got tomorrow, um, tomorrow off as well. Mm, yeah. um, that day off helps um, after a loss like tonight. And, um, yeah, I think we'll be, we'll be good to go the next day. Hmm. Um, the batting lineup for well, no, the fielding lineup. I see Takara was in left field, Elodie in centre, mm-hmm. um, and Jordan was at shortstop. Which, um, well, Takara's come back in, and then yeah, it was interesting lineup. I thought I think we're used to seeing Takara in centre. I know Elodie's a great um, fielder as well. We got Takara back. She can ask this question. Can she hear us? I hear you now. Sorry. Yay, hey, mate. How are you? We would like well. Brooke and Tani would like you on better circumstances um, tonight. Um, take us take us through the game from your your point of view. Um, I think the game sped up on us quite quickly. We came out guns blazing like we like to do, um, and yeah, just yeah, that Vic are just Vic. You know, we we try to take them as they came to us. We didn't go to them, and they just yeah. It was a tough one. I mean, we try to ride the waves with each other. And so we were just trying to do our best to be there for each other through all our plays and just, yeah, got away from us a little, but, and yeah. I think even up until the, the fifth, Takara, um, we, st- we were still quite in it too. I think they put a three three spot on us in the, in the third, but um, until the fifth when they started stacking on those extra runs, I'm sure in the dugout the um, the attitudes were still really positive in that, yeah. hey, we've just got to get a few a few base runners here and the momentum can change any moment. That's the thing we were saying. We, um, you know, like momentum changes very quickly and that's why we were just saying, like, let's go out there and just keep fighting. You know, we don't want to give in to, like, anyone. Um, and, like, our, our benches were amazing today, like, picked everyone up and, like, the attitude on the bench to the field was very different. Um, so yeah, it was good. Um, we we're just talking about the lineup. We saw you in left field. Uh, we know obviously you in center field usually. We know your speed out there. Um, left field tonight a bit different for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's um, <laughs> yeah. It was different. It's it's fun out there. I mean, I'm so happy to be on the field and like Elle as well. Like learning from her, like no one better. So yeah, just happy to be where I'm needed. And yeah. It's, it's just that ball got away from me a little. I'm not used to the little drops on them towards the line, so just got away from me. I mean, I mean that happens anyway. Curry came up and made a good yeah, throw from exactly. anyway, so was, mm. that's it, mate. You're, you're doing your yeah. job. Yeah, no. How did you find um, Brooke and I? We were just talking before about the pitching. How did you find the Victorian pitches tonight? With um, firstly with Abby Kelly, and then a- a- Ali Bebere came on and did did pretty well in that yeah. second half of the game. I've never yeah, she seen did. Abby Kelly, so I was very excited. Um, and she, yeah, she's got great command on her breaking balls, and it's actually quite fun to watch. It's, um, it's yeah, it's just like, ooh, <laughs> she was, yeah, she did really well. And yeah, the um, Ali, I've never actually like seen her play. So, and she, yeah, she just stayed so composed and ready, and came at anyone, like didn't back down or change her approach to anyone. It was go at him and. Yeah, she, yeah, very well, both of them. Yeah, but yeah, they did a good job tonight. They were tough. Yeah. Yeah. 
And in terms of um, your at-bats, or not particularly yours, but just the teams in general, Takara, did anything change in terms of the, the at-bats and the approaches as, as the game started, did um, sort of start speeding away from, in, especially in the fifth onwards? Did, was there anything approaches, any discussions that dug out about, about the, the change of approach there? No, or? we – it was more just, like, go get him, and that was yeah. up to whoever was on, like – for me, my approach didn't change. I just let, wanted them to come to me and, like, so my eyes lit up and, you know. I know um, Lulu, hers was, um, she was trying to get back. She, her first at bat pulled everything down the line. She was just trying to wait back up the middle and it just, um, yeah, it was, the game sped up for me for sure. I was trying to let them come to me and I tried just to stay composed and have a competitive at bat every pitch. So we just we said that from the start. We want to compete every pitch, every out, every every play, everything. And I think we held that right to the end. Especially Elodie, she fought, fought off some really good pitches, and yeah, she mm. had some good at bats there. Can I ask you a question? Um, yes, she did. Takara, the lights on that main diamond. What are they like? I don't mind them. We had like little fairy lights behind the plate, kind of to the right with the barbecue. Once those were turned off, there was, yeah. We just we were okay. finding bugs out there. There's like little fruit flies that, like, yeah, it's it pretty bad. Those fairy lights sound like they were planted by Victoria only when you guys in the field, though, right? Yeah, yeah I, might, mm. I might have put them Suspicious. in the stage before she went. It was just right in the line of um, Chloe when she was pitching. Um, Check into that, buddy. <laughs> now, Takara, I'm not obviously you've, you've played with. Tani, I'm not sure if you played the book before, but New South Wales wearing that <laughs> completely different blue. I want to say New South Wales blue, but it is a very vibrant blue this year. We've got three shades of blue. You, you, New South Wales, <laughs> get this shit in order. Yeah, look at like, our, look at you. Look at <laughs> our belt. Look at even. There's no navy. New South, and then our helmet what? navy. And yeah, it's mate. New South, New South. Either way, yeah, New South, New South. <laughs> These hats. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like? Like. I know what it's like, Brooklyn. They're pretty America. bright. It's but but being in New South Wales, what is it like? Like I hear shit from these girls all the time, but it's you're pretty proud. You're proud, you're proud <laughs> you girls. Yeah, you are. Well, it's like for me, especially playing like alongside Lulu, who coached me growing up in juniors in under sixteens. Like that's like so cool to me, and like I just whenever like I'm running out with her, or running in with her, I just remember back in under sixteens when I was a little shortstop and. Like, I was a deer in the headlights. She was my little, like, go-to, and now I'm playing with her. And, like, we have, like, Elle, Bevy, like, Tani was around. Like, it just, yeah, it's it's a different different culture. It's it's exciting. Every day is exciting. Everyone's always there for each other, and we come together when we need to. And, yeah, it's it's a great, great state. Love it. Sure is. Proud, <laughs> always. How was uh, how was your prep leading up to nationals, Takara? I know there was uh, a lot of. I'm just not letting the Vic speak here, so keep up. With yes. the I'm trying to find the stop just, button. Uh, leave Where's the, the mute? Where's the mute? <laughs> mute. Um, I know. I know. We had a lot of uh, washouts out in uh, Sydney, Takara. So how was the prep leading into nationals? Um, what did you guys get in in terms of work wise? Otherwise, when mm. it was raining, and and how how do you um, feel that that's affected your, your lead up? I mean, it's been pretty tough. We had 15 field sessions scheduled, and we only got in five. Um, and so that wow. that's, wow. I think, been a killer for us in terms of coming together as a team, um, infield, outfield, things like that. Um, we tried to get indoor centres whenever we could. However, sports like cricket, AFL, soccer, we're all in the same boat. And it just, like, there's only so many indoor centres, you know. So that was tough. And most, like, I can, like, confidently say all of us were doing the best that we could with what we had. Um, it just wasn't ideal and when we left our very last session we said to each other you know like unfortunately we can't that's not anything that we can control so we need to now leave that behind us and take in a whole new attitude to nationals because if we are like oh our prep didn't do this or we didn't get enough sessions in like that's it's an automatic loss there you know we're in our heads yeah. so we, we just like went away thinking like you know we had our 15 sessions in we did as best as we could and yeah, we've it's yeah, it's been tough. It was a tough prep, but the sessions we got in were great. They were good, yeah. So And the good players are gonna play anyway. I mean, everyone's been at that mm, level exactly. before and good shoulders and some heads yeah. there, so you guys will be yeah, fine. Exactly, yeah. Um we won't keep you too long because we know you've got it's late and it's <laughs> 
past eight o'clock it's late for me but you i want you to quickly tell us and tell everyone that's listening you just went away to the arizona diamondbacks you went away to the u.s i had a bit of a heart attack i saw you go off i thought we've lost another player to college but tell us about why you went over so i went over well i reached out to the diamondbacks just out of high school expressing my interest in any internship opportunities they had whether that be online or social media or anything at that point i stayed into uni i didn't know what i wanted to do um, and so, like, I reached out and I was like, yeah, nothing's going to come from it. And then they got back to me pretty much straight away saying that they'd love to have me. And then COVID hit. And so over those two years, we had stayed in touch and they'd sent me little assignments and stuff like that. And as soon as the borders opened, they emailed me. They're like, hey, so these are the dates you're coming. And I was like, I will be there. <laughs> Just I booked my accommodation, that, <laughs> my flights, like, pretty much the next week and yeah, so I went over there and I did a strength and conditioning internship. So that was, like, amazing. Yeah, it was super fun. And I learned a lot of stuff that I've been able to bring back and we've actually implemented here, like um, a different approach to our warm-up, a different approach to our prep, mobility circuits, um, pitches recovery, arm care, stuff like that. And I'm hoping that the stuff that I've learned, I can help Baseball New South Wales implement, like, a high-performance program. So I'm starting to write up one that I think will be really beneficial for the young kids especially. Wow, how inadequate do Good you feel? How inadequate do you feel, Brooke and Tani and me? Because I'm feeling yeah. quite um, yeah. you put in your definition to two way player. You're like two way yeah. like Jesus, that's, that's awesome. awesome um, mate. Can you Good share some you. with Victoria? Can you share some with the other teams? No, just go. <laughs> nah. September. Oh, damn. No, that's a no. Solid no. <laughs> Maybe after yeah. nationals. Now, you have a day off tomorrow. Um, that's correct. Cool. You're going to hit up Henley Beach. You're going to do some sun baking. Um, and then you've got who are the last games remaining for you? We have Queensland and WA. Sweet. Yeah. No, that is um cool. Well, we wish you all the best. Thank you. Um, I little yeah, not completely all the best, but good luck. You play Victoria, so <laughs> I'll wish you all the best until you face the big V again. No, you know that you know that I'll be cheering for you. There'll be another game when that's Cara. We got yes. it next time. Yeah. That's it, mate. The loss doesn't hurt tonight. No, I think no. bounce back stronger. Yeah, exactly. It's lit a little fire under all of us. So let's get That's in a it, recovery session tomorrow and come back. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you for making it three on one. Now it's only going to go back to two on one. And um, Victoria versus New South Wales. Congra- yeah, look, good luck. And I'll no doubt be watching the rest of the tournament. Hope to see you in that gold medal game. Thank you, guys. It was good to see you guys. Thank you guys. See you, T. Keep playing hard. See ya. Buddy. See you, mate. Good thank luck. Thank you. Well, um, I've got Morgan Doty ready. Awesome. So I will just message her right now and get her to come in. Zoom her in. Ready. She is on the bus. We will find out if she's on the party bus. (laughs) The party bus or the library bus. Or the library bus. (laughs) I always see. the library bus. Yeah, (laughs) because I reckon I was always on the library bus. I was ne- we were definitely not on the library bus. Weren't we? <laughs> no, <laughs> you two we, were not. You two, I, s- I used to drive the party bus <laughs> at one stage. You two would have invented TikTok before it was invented, I reckon. Like all that hey. <laughs> uncaptured footage from some of the buses in our time. Good Again, that it's was, not captured. The, the library bus, we would have shut yeah. TikTok down. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, no, um, Morgan Doty, I'm just getting up her stats. So, Morgan tonight. Two RBI triple in the second inning, um, two RBI double in the second or third inning. I can't – there's just scribbles and notes. I can't keep up. But (laughs) Morgs right now is going – she's hitting 800 with eight RBIs in three games. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, she is – I'm just going to tell her she can come in. Um, Uh, She's on fire. uh, uh, What year's your plane top from Brooke? What's that one? Do you know? This would have been one of my last years, I think, before we went to Blue Sox. Yeah, yeah. So I'm so going to pa- say... Cause you Patriots, Patriots is the New South. That was before that's we were... original New South. Yeah, that's the OJ. This is uh, 04, I think. Oh, jeez. That is... It's... um. I'm going to say maybe 2010 for this one. Would that be right? Mm. Maybe. Mm. Or 12, maybe even. Canberra. Yeah, so we had the sky blue for a few mm. years, 
and then we went to the Blue Sox, and now we're back with. Um, we had the sleeveless too. Yeah, I've got so one of them. The Patriots sleeveless. Yeah. I reckon was. You check out this puppy. Tamworth. <laughs> yeah, Tamworth. <laughs> I reckon. Yeah, because that is that. Every time I see that top, I think of Renee Stromati's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She had the, the full sleeve Under Armour. And I reckon it's because yeah. she absolutely shoved it when she wore that top, particularly against Victoria. That's why I remember that top because I'm just like, that top. Oh, she's on hey the bus. She's, she's on the bus. There you go. How good <laughs> How good? Maybe for you, mate. Hey, mate. What bus are you on? Are you on the party bus or the library bus? Well, I like to think any bus with me is a party. But... <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, Morgs, after your display tonight, you probably can party a little bit, buddy. But, um, maybe yeah, mate. Outstanding. You, could, you just missed our Backstreet Boys sing-along, so... No, no, no. That's okay, no, no, no. Well, let's get it going. Start now. Let's oh, go. Shit. Brooke, do you want to, like, let's just leave? No, no, no. Yeah, we'll just... I've, see I've you lost, later. You can't leave the podcast. I've lost Talk about game. our numbered. Uh-huh. There's a whole bus of them. Big <laughs> ball. <laughs> oh, no. Can't handle the pressure. Oh, my God. This is not good. I'm not enjoying this whatsoever. We'll just talk amongst ourselves uh, while we're... <laughs> turning my camera off. <laughs> Some tape over the camera. <laughs> Go, Vic. This is quite painful to watch, really. Um... <laughs> it is only day three. We're all right. No, but Morgan Jody, we were just going through your stats. We oh. there's just numbers that we've we've got scribbles all over our pieces of paper. But you for the tournament right now, batting eight hundred. You're eight for ten. You have eight RBIs. But tonight, two RBI triple in the first, two RBI double in the in the third. Um, you're seeing the ball, all right? Clearly, yeah. It seems like. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm feeling good. Like we've, we've done a lot of work at um, high performance program in the lead up with Shannon Z, and um, kind of changed my swing a, maybe about a year ago. And it, it just sort of um, everything's clicking. So you know, and it just feels good and seeing it, and yeah, it's good. What have you uh, What have you changed with your swing? If you don't mind sharing, um, goats. What have you been working on? I saw you in the gym uh, <laughs> racking out some squats, mm. mate. Lifting some heavy loads there. I'm sure that's helping out because you're looking you're looking yoked in the box, yoked. mate. You're looking pretty fat. Um, <laughs> I think it was just more like trying to stay more connected through legs and hands, whereas before I was maybe mm. a bit more foot down too early and losing a bit yeah, of power. I, was, I mean yeah. that. That triple that you that you hit in your first at bat, I mean, you, you, there was an outsider camera angle from from for that hit, and it was your your timing was like it just looked really really smooth. Like that was crushed from the get go because your timing was spot on yeah, for that. So you could really see that. Time. I got to third and Lulu called me a unit, so I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's the unit calling the unit a unit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think of um, Chloe Jones? What's the vibe? Um, in, oh, sorry, you go. Oh, no, no, you, no, 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 you go, Brooke. I was just going to say, what's the vibe in the camp, mate? Yeah, it's good. Um, I think, well, I was, I was t- talking to the girls today. I was actually really nervous for the game, I think, because we had two straight up day one and then day off and then the night games as well. So it was just like a lot of waiting around. A long wait, yeah. It's way too much time to think. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so, but I think today was really good. We, we came out, we, we had a really good pregame um, and the vibe was there from the get-go, so... Yeah, um, and then it goes to show, like, even though the score at the end was a little bit, you know, it, it felt like a tight game the way through, and I think the girls just stayed mm. up and treated every inning and hit. And, yeah, yeah, it's good. It was good um, to be what was on you, mate? That's all I could say. <laughs> I know. That, she says to the three people that are not at Nationals, thank you, Jodie, for rubbing that in. Oh. <laughs> Appreciate that. Oh, all right. Well, at least you have to come in the bus ride. I know like, the bus rides. <laughs> Rook and I don't want to be on that yeah. bus. No, yeah, that's not yeah, the bus that's we want to be on at all. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Um, Dotes, what was it like having uh, head coach Samantha Hamilton, who um, I'm still yet to see the positive COVID test. I think she was milking it, so I would look after for the, her for the week. I'm just going to put it out there. What was it like to um, get head coach? Joking, she was very sick. What was it like to get head coach Samantha Hamilton back out in the team um, after coaching virtually for the first couple of days? Yeah, it was really good. Um, you could tell she was really excited um, to be 
on the field and involved. And um, it was just nice to have everyone. Like, yeah, we've been prepping for since February and, um, yeah, it just felt good. Everyone was here and, yeah, it was good to have her back and got a win. <laughs> <laughs> And so what's what's recovery looking like? Do you guys go home tonight and do a recovery session or you got a morning recovery? What are, what are you guys looking like when you get back to the hotel tonight? <laughs> well, we've got um, we've got a pool in the hotel, so a pool and a spa. So probably that we did that last game when we had a late game and it's open till 11, can you believe it, in Adelaide? But, um, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> go and do some hot colds up there probably, yeah. Nice. And, and you've hit, been hitting the beach at all? You guys hitting the beach for oh, recovery? Not yet, getting caught no. in rips? I might have to request that we go tomorrow morning, <laughs> beach sesh. Um, but yeah, we've actually we haven't we haven't been able to do much. We've we've kind of been keeping to our hotel, trying to stay in our team bubble, and um, yeah. Mm. So there's been a lot of downtime. So beach beach sesh would be really good. So we were talking. We were, uh, I think I said in the podcast to Cassie Welsh and Brooke reminded me that. Now in my age, most of my memories are merging to one and we remember the things off the field, I think, more. Can you give us a little bit of an inside knowledge, Goss, of what the Victorians are doing on the, their uh, downtime? What's like number one activity? I hear there's a breakout room. Is what happens in the breakout room stays in the breakout room? I'm fine with that. But... No, sh- I can share a bit of info about the breakout room. Um, we're hanging out there quite a lot. I think last night we, um, we had the Queensland South Australia game on and well, all the girls were on, like, sitting around the table playing a lot of games. Some Phase 10. What else was being played? Phase 10. <laughs> pass the pig. And Pass the Pig. So some, some board games game. happening. Yeah. It's going I was off. laying on the floor just watching, trying to conserve energy because I was feeling double header, but <laughs> the girls were getting around the board games. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we have heard there apparently is yoga by Jody every morning. Is this oh. correct? Well, it hasn't happened yet, but um, it will, it will. <laughs> I'm being fed lies. <laughs> yeah. um, I think we were going to do it day one, but then um, it rained a bit overnight, so the grass was all wet. So we ended up just going for a walk, get a coffee, and then just did a bit of stretching in the park. But it wasn't a you know, proper yoga by Dodie. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> but you can't mix it up now, Dodes. You've got to keep yeah. those So I don't think you can run any sessions, mate, when you're getting the winds. Well, um, Brooke Tani, do you have any last questions before we let the um, New South Wales girls? Sorry, Victorian girls. Wow. Good Lord. See, I'm outnumbered. <laughs> I am outnumbered. They're confusing me with all the different shades of blue that they're wearing. Just pick a blue and stick with it. <laughs> the Victorian girls, you want to crank the music back up. We're totally making the party bus a library bus. This is a ploy by the, the New South Wales girls. That is what this is. Um, Just calm down, guys. Do you have a final yeah. question? Do you have any final questions for um? I do. Yep. Yeah, any superstitions, Dotes? Because you might want to continue on my missing. Uh, no. <laughs> um, I'm actually not that superstitious. Um, probably because I can't really remember what I did the day before, but... What's your hat? What's the hat? <laughs> oh, here we go. We've got Samantha Hamilton. Hey, hey, hey. hey. You, you driving, buddy? That's an intruder. <laughs> Who? There's an intruder in the house. No, this is good because now we're actually three to one Victoria in New South Wales or two to one WA, however you want to look at it. Samantha Hamilton, congratulations. First win in person, Victorian head coach. Congrats. Thank you very much. But this is Morgan's moment, so I'll leave you to chat with her. That you just jumped in on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? This is Morgan's moment. This is Morgan. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, I just came here to tell you this is Morgan's moment. Yeah, it's Morgan's <laughs> moment. <laughs> Legit. Are you driving? Who's driving? Nah, we've stopped. Now nah, we're we're back at the hotel ah. now. Okay, that's uh, totally handy. You could still out. be driving. Because it's her <laughs> moment. Get out. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, um, well, we will let you go. To... Your question. Um, no, not really, but I guess, yeah, once you get into a tournament, good things are happening. I kind of just try to stay the same uniform, but, you know, if, if my socks aren't washed by the next day, I'll, I'll change them. <laughs> I yeah. hope so. Who's your, who's your, who's your roomie? <laughs> Abby Mack. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Abby Mack will be changing them if you haven't washed them, that's yeah. for sure. Well. No, keep doing good things, mate. Yeah. <laughs> 
Good luck. Go go hit the pool before 11 p.m. Rock out Adelaide on a Sunday night. Sounds good. Yes. Thanks, guys. Good to chat. <laughs> we'll see good you later. Question, Thanks for joining Love, us. See you later. See you, mate. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> go, Aces. <laughs> I think that was the uh, the older ladies' bus. Some of the tunes they're cranking there from the early two thousand. The granny's bus. I mean, I was feeling it. So that's what makes me think that what, the Sam... youngers will be playing TikTok videos. Sam Hamilton was on making TikTok videos. Yeah. No, you're, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, no, in fact, Morgan Doty, man, she's with the bat on the in centre field. Like, there's, I just reckon there's unequaled. She's unequaled at the moment. I really. That's my opinion. Yeah, I mean, some of the wheels she's got too. Like, she's hitting with power, but she's also got the wheels to back it up. Like, there was an instance there yeah. where she swiped third base, which yep. uh, I think it was Abby Mack was then able to drive yeah. in for a sack fly. Like, just little things like that, that makes a that hell of a difference. I think that was, like, in the third as well when it was still a bit of a tight game. Those sorts of things can change momentum hugely. So, just things like that, it's, it's going to make a hell of a difference, even the fact that she's got wheels. Mm, yeah. Well, um, I did bring Brooke on this show because we wanted to talk about Brooke's career, which I think is very exciting because Brooke is – I think Brooke and you, Tani, nearly started in the same year. You, Tani, you started in 2004, is that right? 04, yeah. And, Ta- and Brooke, you started in 2006. Yeah, 2006 was my first national. Yes. Yep. Now, anyone that knows me knows I love memorabilia. And I have the 2006, back in the 19 Dickety 3, when they used to print stuff out. And this is the 2006 program. Now, I want you, now, Brooke, you were the pitching coach for three years of the New South Wales state team. Can you analyse the pitching mechanics of. I thought it was a first baseman. Isn't that a first baseman? I'm glad yeah. you played baseball, McCann, because uh, if that's how you're What's pitching, I'm glad you've never pitched sex. There's more my point. I pitched at the Nationals, and that's scary. <laughs> that is scary. No. I'm pretty st- – that is a first baseman. No, that's a first mate. baseman. Mate, who's yeah. pitching like that? Because my brain <laughs> – no, because my brain goes, why are they putting – Because my brain automatically thinks they're going to put a pitcher Yellow. on the front. They're not going to put it – why would they put a first baseman on the front? Don't say that to a first baseman, I'll mate. tell Sam you got a big tomorrow. Tell, tell Gaynor. I'm not pitching has a glove that Gaynor's big, mate. <laughs> no, it's that girl that's bought the 12-inch from Rebel. It's a pitcher. <laughs> No. Sorry, mate, you're outnumbered. That's the first baseman. I'm not asking two New South Wales is back you've, been li- you've been living a lie, looking at that every day, mate. Every day. Can't sleep at night. Well, why I'm looking here. Picture? I want to know why New South Wales has a mystery number nine person. Who was your 19th person that wasn't named? Oh, mystery? That's the dash. It was a dash. <laughs> What's going on here? And you took 18 players. We have number five, 87, Tani Lovering, and then we have a number 78, Brooke McLean, New South Wales, 2006. Oh, that's a typo. Brooke McLean. Typo. Oh, 76. No, McLean's right. Oh, 76. 76. Oh. Mm. Well, I'm not going to sell that on eBay now. (laughs) Um, Your first nationals, what do you remember? I don't – dip switch doesn't count to me. Didn't happen. (laughs) Doesn't exist. Uh, Very good memories, mate. I – yeah, first tournament, you know, for New South Wales in a, you know, um, in a baseball perspective. Um, but um, just winning it was just outstanding. It was, you know, it was professionally run. The team just gelled. Um, it was really intense and I just loved the atmosphere. atmosphere. Um, it was really special, actually. Um, a lot of memories, again, as we said before, off the field. But I think that that grand final or gold medal game with, you mentioned before, um, Renee on the hill, mm. it, you know, I, I could sit there and watch that replay, you know, all day, every day. She was just awesome. So uh, it does tie into a little bit of a sore point with me and Tani on how <laughs> that tournament ended. <laughs> you won um, it. That's all I remember. I think, uh, it's yeah. a sore point for no, no, me. Yes. That's what... What? How did it end? The win, the win, yes. But um, I think Tani was very much um, ripped off on on being chosen in the in the Australian. Oh, mate, I thought you were going to talk about was... something else there. I got the giggles. I thought you were going to talk about the. Uh... <laughs> You had an outstanding oh, wow. performance. No, an outstanding performance at third base that whole <laughs> tournament, right? You were third base most starting the gold medal game, yeah? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. And some of the heckling coming from the Victorian dugout. Oh. <laughs> Especially <laughs> someone called Sam Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I thought that's what you were bringing up as a sore point when they were, they were heckling trying no, to get people well, yeah, that is a sore point. as they can. <laughs> Was she? There was a, I don't know if you remember this, Amy. Yes. I'm heckling, not a heckler. Like, I don't heckle. And I usually don't even listen. I don't hear it. Someone's heckling me. I'm like, mm, I don't hear it. Look, it was predominantly Sam, but there was a few a few hecklers. Who um, I don't think you were a fond <laughs> I don't think you were fond of the noise we used to make in the dugout. We used to, ever, we used to no, do the you, yeah. you so I remember Geelong you had bottles. Melbourne you had you were banging the seats. You were freaking noisy. Bloody noisy. Yeah, we were actually. You can't pick <laughs> we'll a blue. Piss. You make too much noise. You... <laughs> no, but I don't remember. But there was a, there was a pop-up particularly in foul ball territory right in front of your dugout, right? <laughs> I've run over, slid on my knees to try and catch this Did you catch ball. it? I don't even remember if I caught yeah, it or not. You caught it. Lovely? You caught the ball. Caught it, right? You caught it. Okay. So, yeah, is this we'll about the heckling we'll or is this about you it. getting a web gem into the podcast? What's this about? Hey. Right. <laughs> this is the standard play for you need to. <laughs> and what do I hear coming out of the dugout? Probably because she was a little bit upset. Oh, you're crawling like a baby. I'm like, who, who is this? Who oh, is God, because that is the worst insult. <laughs> that is the worst heckle ever. We come out, we're like, And who did it come from? Famous. Who did it come from, Amy? <laughs> I actually, Sam I, Hamilton. Do you know the only reason I know? I'm that, crying. Do you know the only reason I know they came from Sam? Because she actually, when I told her the other day that I'd confirmed you for the podcast, she goes, <sighs> ask her about the crawling like a baby. And we I must, we must have brought it up to Sam. We always say it's the worst heckling <laughs> moment of, of women's baseball ever. It's bad. Like, what is that? That's not yeah. like. I walk back to, to the field and I'm like, who is this Muppet? Like, that's what she's got. That's, um. What is happening? Crawling like a baby. baby. Samantha Hamilton. <laughs> and and turned out to be such a great mate, but um, she didn't shake my hand. That was another moment from that tournament. Yes, and that's an interesting thing because it's funny how we talk about like Victoria versus New South Wales, and I know it's the same with Victoria WI, and there's a lot of rivalries, but the intensity, particularly back then, I reckon, for that yeah. 2004, to, that was like a period of maybe six to eight, ten years when yeah. Victoria and New South Wales, we would – Absolutely at yeah. each other's throats. And then we'd, oh, yeah. we'd go yeah. to a World Cup and have to be teammates. And I remember you and Sam reenacted the shaking hands at the 2006 <laughs> World Cup photo. Yeah. But I miss those intense, I miss those intense yeah. games. You weren't I, – I found initially, or maybe because I didn't know the girls like you guys as well, I didn't feel there was that friendship off the field. You know, now yep. it's very much switch on on field, but off field we're great mates. I, I don't think it was like that. There was like we're from New South Wales, you are not, so you're not someone that I want yeah. to associate with really. Yeah. I mean, it was that – we were that strong and firm about where yeah, we were from. There's a lot of passion, and, a lot of passion about that. Yeah, well, and you're right because I think we all – I remember when we first played you, Brooke, in particular because you were – Far out, you were good. And you were intense as – probably as <laughs> intense me. as anyone I've played against. And it was like when you played – it's the same with Sam. I think you and Sam are so similar. When you play with you, you're like you're the first person you want in the team. When you play against them, you're the first person you just want to go at. And it, t- it does. It takes yeah. so many years. And I think for a lot of us, it actually takes to nearly when our careers are over to actually realise, crap, we're actually the same. We just wear different colours. Yeah. <laughs> so competitive – um, you know, want to win so badly, so loyal to our state, whatever it takes. You know, it doesn't matter who's on our team, even if they're not one of our best mates. If you've said something or if you've heckled one of us, badly. you know, it cut deep. It, cut, it cuts, yeah. Clearly, how many years later and we're still hanging on to that? <laughs> so it's a sore point. Yeah. So 2006, I think it was 4 0. Renee Stramati's yeah, blanked us. Us. I can't remember what I yeah. I can't remember what I did in the game. Clearly nothing. Um yeah, and it was New South Wales had won two out of three. Um Tiny, you were obviously both of those. And it was like we're here, we've got it. We've got that New South Wales rivalry rivalry, which was awesome. And then two thousand and six yeah. we just missed that bronze medal at the World Cup. And you could still you could feel that I reckon you could feel the Australian team was starting to build something. Is that how you guys saw it? Yeah, I agree. I had not been in it before, but it felt special. It felt like it was only going to, you know, incline from there, I think. Yep. It was very, there was a really strong base there. Yep. That was um, the sore point. Lovering didn't, didn't quite um, make it as she should have. Mate, I think, no, <laughs> I think 
the, uh, things happen for a reason and um, we, we move yeah. on from that anyhow. And um, we came, we came good um, in, in the, in the coming years, but yeah. Yeah, mate. Well, Brooke, you, 2007. <laughs> yeah. My memories from nationals in 2007 mm. are mainly around you. And I think if I remember correctly, oh, thanks, you, so in one of the worst, I reckon probably the worst moment I've seen on a baseball field is you did your knee in a game. Yeah, um, in gold medal game. In the gold yeah. medal game. And it's the, it's the nationals that I believe that Victoria should not have won. You should have won that. You did your knee and we ended up winning that gold medal game. And it was, it was a hollow victory. Um, I don't like to remind you of that, but I, uh, there's a, it's funny how we talk about great players and they're great players and they're whatever. I, I classed you as a play that we never saw your best, but what we saw was some of the best we ever saw from any player. Mm, for sure. Because yeah, you sorry. kind of got riddled with injuries and that was one of the most heartbreaking moments for anyone. Um, Talk us about, t- tell us about that injury. You just made the Australian team. You've, you've injured. You, how did you take that? Do you know, it's funny, even, you know, when you asked me to come on and you said, send me a photo and I sent you the photo from that tournament, it just, it just, it's still, I don't, maybe I've not dealt with it. I, I just, it brings back so many emotions, um, even to this day, like, what, what did we say? It was 2007, mm. you know, so many years on and it's just, like you said, I just I felt unfinished from that point on with my pitching, which was what I was so passionate about, um, and felt very very unfinished. So it was actually Lovering and I um, pop up between us, um, between home plate pop up or a and bunt. the mound. Pop up or like a, a pop up. I thought it was it might a, have bunt. Been a bunt. I know it was yeah. just a. It might have been, Something but I know it went up in the bunt. air. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. And. Um, we both went for it and there was quite an uneven level surface between the base path and the grass. So, you know, the, the base path was quite a lot lower than the grass. And I remember just distinctly just running, looking at this ball and just went down and just buckled as I've obviously just trod between the, the grass and the, the dirt, the uneven surface and just went down. And I literally knew in that minute that I had blown my knee out without a doubt, because I, 10 years prior, had blown out my right knee um, at school, um, playing sport at school, and I, I, I knew, I, I, just, I knew 100% it wasn't right as I got up and tried to walk back to the mound. It was not stable, it was really loose, um, but I was like, nope, I've come here to get this job done and I'm doing it, and I remember... I think they, they called time and took me into the dugout and strapped it up. And Johnny's like, we're, we're going to have to take you off, mate. Like, you're not right. And I'm like, no, nope, I'm right. I'm going out. We're, we're going to get this done. Just hurry up, get it done, strap it up. We've got to go. You know, we haven't got much longer sort of thing. Let's go. I can't even remember what inning it was. I know it was deep in the game because I'd thrown over 90 pitches or I threw up to 90 pitches, I think, at the yeah. end. Um, but it was late in the game. Mm. And... Um, Went out and did my best to essentially throw off one knee. Um, it was my left knee. Um, and so you're so landing. So you're landing. That's obviously your landing leg. Yeah, and yeah, that's pretty much. I, I mean, just couldn't kind sustain of much more. Is, that's the kind of player that Brooks uh, is as well as a teammate or just as a person in terms of just the competitiveness. Same with her knee. And I remember she did her ankle foot at another nationals as well. Um, and, yeah. and she's running on the field or dragging her foot basically on the field, ready to go out. And, and everyone's like, Brooke, get back. And she's like, no, I'm on, I'm on, I'm going in. Like, you had to, you had to peel her off the field and it's not for any other reason, just that the, the competitiveness and the passion. Mm. And um, I mean, that's the sort of play you want. Like you're telling her, like Brooke would be there with a chopped off arm trying to go on the field. Like, mate, you've got no arm. You can't play. <laughs> I'm good to go. So, I mean, that's the kind of play you always want to play with anyway. Those mm. sorts of passionate players who are high, not, I mean, not hiding their injuries because it's never a good thing, but that's just the kind of player Brooke mm. is. No, I'm good, mate. I'm good. I'm good to go. Well, Tani, I ask yeah. you because there isn't, well, there wouldn't be a pitcher that you haven't called to in this country. Like you think about your career. Oh, I'm sure there are, but yeah, no, but there's, all, there's been a lot. <laughs> Let's stand. We're going Australian and down. You've you've pretty much caught yeah. you've caught to everyone, and, and 
yeah, yeah. Look at your best and again. We did, I don't think we saw your best. Where did you rate Brooke as a pitcher? Because we know that. Well, I mean, I yeah, yeah. I brought her up the other day when we had our chat earlier, Amy. When we're, when you're talking about our favourite, my favourite pitchers, and and obviously Brooke was up there. Um, I mean, and Brooke threw hard too. I mean, we have a lot of younger players now that do throw hard, but back then Brooke was throwing. I don't know what you end up. What did you hit, Brooke? Brooke, do you know on the radar? I don't, I don't even really know, mate. I know that it was thrown around low seventies mm. at um, the two thousand and six yeah. nationals, yeah. but I never really got yeah, yeah. Felt a yeah. lot of radar. Yeah, felt- and it's interesting how you don't know because I think for you it was about the way you pitched. Yeah, no. To, that's to it. me, and that's it felt it wasn't about the numbers. No, either. it felt way different because it, you had so much different stuff. And you threw you were similar <laughs> in one way to Tanders. You threw that hard stuff as well. Um, yeah, she threw she threw hard. Yeah. Um, she had a, a, a bloody good breaking ball. Um, she would throw spots, and, and above all, what made her so good as a pitcher, or as a, just as a player? Again, just the competitiveness. Like mm. it was always, give me the ball, let's go. I want to go at this hitter. I want to go at that hitter. I want to take that hitter. It wasn't like a backward step. It was always she was up there to, to fight a battle and that was the best part of catching to her is that she, she wanted to be up there. She wanted the ball every pitch and she wanted to really um, compete and battle with every player, which is all we can ask from from any player or any teammate really. Yeah. And it's funny because you talk about that, the battle and the wanting to be up there, you, you do your knee, you miss the world cup in 2008. And it's like, you want to be there. Yeah. You want, you, you want that battle. You fight back. And then 2010, you're back in the Australian team, but you're back in the Australian team. So you, you, you you're, Third baseman in a gold medal game. You're a pitcher that should have won that gold medal for New South Wales. And then you go to the World Cup in 2010. And I remember you, like, you were in the outfield with me in 2006. And then you were, <laughs> yes, like, second base at 2010. Yeah. So what was it like getting back into that Australian team in 2010? It was a bit of a um, tricky situation, actually. It's a funny one. I don't know if you know it. So essentially after Perth, I immediately went, rehabbed the knee, got a knee reconstruction. So shut down from baseball, obviously, because I was doing nothing. Then as the knee was just about good to go again, I'm like, right, we've got to roll this arm over, get going again. And I remember sitting on the decking with my dad, who was heavily involved in baseball, pitching coach for many years, absolutely, you know, has taught me everything I know. And I was literally, because the knee's still not right, sitting on the decking just playing toss with my dad like that. I'm thinking, what is wrong with my arm? It's so sore. Like what? And he's like, how can it be sore? You haven't done anything since Perth. I'm thinking, what? something's not right. Something's not right. Something's not right. So I will never know, but I have slap tear in the right shoulder um, that needed surgery. Um, but I never, ever played or threw a ball between that period of time from Perth. And when I came back, it was, it, it was, it was sore. So I would have to imagine that not only that night, did I do my knee that I possibly also did my shoulder that night as well. So I spent the entire time rehabbing my knee and underlying was a, a slap tear in the shoulder, which is a shoulder reconstruction surgery, obviously. Wow. Um, so rehab the knee un, and un, had this underlying shoulder issue. So I wanted to pitch and so I, I just, it wasn't an option anymore. And that's where I became, you know, middle infield. I was booked in to have shoulder reconstruction surgery. I played middle infield in 2010 and I actually don't know if I should share this. It's probably, I mean, it's been and gone now. I got the phone call to say that my surgery would be on the following week before the team was announced to go to Venezuela. And I rang Johnny and I said, I don't have time to find out if I'm going to be named in this team or not. Should I have the surgery? He said, don't have the surgery, essentially. I felt uncomfortable to say, am I in the team, knowing it was still a week out from announcement. But I so desperately wanted to be a part of that team that I was going to forego the shoulder reconstruction. Your decision was based on that entirely, yeah. We're glad glad you didn't have that surgery. (laughs) Oh, thanks, mate. So, yeah, I didn't have the surgery and obviously made the team and that's how I become middle infielder, really, Um, and went away to World Cup. And I'm just... This is just the best decision I ever made, yep. having those memories from 2010. And 2010. So, yeah, it's a bit of a long-winded injury story, but no, but that, that's my life, mate. <laughs> but, that, but that's the thing. I know there's a lot of girls, like Belinda Cannington just did a knee for the second time. She should be at Nationals at the moment, um, mm. been pressing for an Australian squad. Um, there's plenty of girls that they think it's the end. I was blessed I never had a major injury, and I think – I think yeah. it's a combination of maybe genetics and I don't know, but I, I just sit there and there's so many girls that have had injuries and I think stories like yours, like yours is one of, if not the best, of 
Perseverance. <laughs> it's bittersweet. Um, the 2010, I know we, we've talked about it a lot, but I just don't think you, you can't not talk about it. Like for you, if both of you had to sum up 2010 in like, I don't think you can, like how do you sum I've got one for you, Brooke. Loco, okay. loco. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we would sum it up. I was going to go, quattro, quattro. Yeah. <laughs> balata, balata. Balata. Yeah. yeah, loco, loco. Some of the um, BP, like warm up before the game, Standing in the outfield just shagging balls was, you know, a bit of a highlight. Some of the, <laughs> the stuff songs, we get up to. <laughs> it's funny because we talk about this, yeah. the, the, obviously the shooting, but it was one thing we forget is the very first game we played against Canada. Do you remember that the officials came around and told Dom and that, that we had to go and pick out glass from the outfield and we weren't allowed to dive? And so yes. Jan allowed and we specifically yes. got told, you're not allowed to dive. And I think it was... No diving. Sam was in left field, I was in centre, and Jana was in right. I remember Jana took this diving catch in that game against Canada in the inning, and we're like, yeah! We walked in and she just got an absolute tearing down by Johnny and John. Don't you ever dive again! (laughs) There was broken bottles, wasn't there, around the top of the fence line from memory? That's right, yeah. Like poking up so that no one could kind of climb That was probably our first sign something was going to go down. Later. I reckon, no, I Later. reckon <laughs> airplane. when we the get plane. to the, the rock star reception and we're like, yeah, at the airport, and they're like, get on the bus, don't look out the window. Keep the, keep the so you reckon closed. that was a highlight? Keep the, <laughs> yes. Keep the curtains closed. And we're like, why? <laughs> it's like a temptation. Like, don't open the curtains. Don't show your face. The <laughs> it, I reckon that was one of the first instances we were like, uh oh. Yeah, this is what's happening. Yeah, um, but yeah, from, yes, no from your perspective, from a playing, like I remember you, as you, as we say, you played a lot of second base. Bromwell was at shortstop. Um, what do you remember about your on field yeah. performances? Um, you know what? It's it's a bit of a. I I had a blinder in the lead up tournament when we were in Carolina. Uh, what was it called? No, yeah, North Carolina. Carolina. North Carolina. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, had a great tournament there, which obviously was two thirds of nothing because we were just warming up to go away. And then I don't know if you went away. It's just the story of my life. Started in the first game at that field with the glass, Yep. hit a ball, foul ball straight into my knee. And this thing pops up on my knee, this gigantic lump. And I was, I didn't know, you know, whatever. I, I can't remember what I was, ground ball, whatever. I got out, went to run out to third and I'm like, I can't run. What's this, what's, what is going on? And I lifted up my playing pants and this big lump is there. And then boom, immediately they took me from the field. I didn't stay on. And I was thinking, oh, great tournament over again. Here we go, another injury sort of thing. So I didn't probably have as much playing time thereafter, um, but you know, when I did, it was just I tried to make the most of every minute, especially probably the highlight that photo. Yeah, that's my cut, favorite. Across the plate again. Oh, Cup. that is that is. I was I dream of a photo yeah. like that to have a photo. Like that. <laughs> yeah, definite highlight. So just tried to make the most of when I was out there, but you know. I mean, on, on or off the field, Brooks the kind of player that just the leadership in the dugout and just having as a teammate is always yeah. a benefit anyway, whether she's on the field or not anyway. There's a certain amount of players like that, and Brooke was definitely one of those having her there. So I was very really- much that feeling at that tournament. It didn't matter, hey, what you what your no. role was. You were just as important, yeah. you know, as the next person. So, yeah, it was pretty special. Mm. And I think you you took the last out – was it the USA game or – was it the semi-final against Venezuela? I can't remember, but all I remember, uh, it was like the cru- crucial final out and you just caught it and just went, oh, blah, 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 and started like talking to the teammate next to you. And it was just like classic. I would just be like, oh. Venezuela, I thought it was. Yeah, I think it, it was. was it was like a game. I we're think just about was. to go to the gold medal game. You're like, nope, one more game to go. It was like, <laughs> it was such a cool reaction. Yeah. Yeah. Job not finished. It's never finished until that last out of that last yeah. game. And Brooke, in terms of um, pitching coach, I mean, how did you how did you feel being a pitching coach as opposed to a player? I know I've said, I mean, I've not done much coaching at all, but when I have, is it's just a different vibe of, uh, of feelings. How do you feel in terms of We're when you're so coaching? We're so incredibly different. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Like, what, what are the kind of feelings yeah. like in, in comparison? I, I think I found it more stressful than actually playing because you can't, you can't get do anything, out right? there. Yeah. You can't do anything. You've done all that you can before you get there then literally when you get to the field, it's managing people. Mm. So 
um, the girls, it was managing how does each one need to prepare to go out and throw their best. That's that's the part that I found probably draining and, and hard is knowing, you know, or Britt needs 45 minutes and she likes quiet time or, you know, um, bless her, Barky doesn't like to be spoken to, she likes her headphones on and you just don't interact with her or, you know, knowing all their little idiosyncrasies to make sure that they're firing and ready to go. Um and being prepared, like don't leave any stone unturned, um, is what my dad taught me. Very lucky. You know, I'd go home after every train, like, this is what happened today, Dad. This is how she threw. She's missing up. She's missing down. She's doing this. What can we do? So, you know, I was lucky to have him, but very, very different to playing because you just can't get out there and, and do anything. But also very proud that we went on a very long seven-year losing streak, Um very long, long losing streak. And then that first year I coached, pitching coach, we turned around and, you know, walked away with our first win after such a long time. Sorry, Amat, 10-0. Um, I apologise to that. I wasn't, I wasn't there. <laughs> that that was my first nationals. I wasn't. Oh, I retired. Oh. Yeah, I, reti- I retired in 2013. <sighs> the first, first one was it that you retired, that one? 23, I, 2013, I retired. We won. And then I think that was when, I think 14, 15, 16 was you repeated. Was the winning streak, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, you weren't there, Mac, but I'm sure you felt it just as much. Oh, I, I mean, there, there were some, there were some uh, pretty dominant pitching displays that we had that, that Hammondville year too, that 2014. Yeah. That were yeah, really. It really was. You know, Hepburn was firing. Mm. Parney was throwing well. Like, you know, Barky was throwing well. We, we yeah, had a tournament. So it was pretty special. Um, but very stressful coaching when you can't get out there. But just as painful in the dugout. I'm sure it's probably more painful to Johnny in the dugout than when I played. <laughs> He's like, bro, could you just sit down? I'm like, I can't. You and the pitchers on the bench. Kathy was the same, always up in the front of the dugout. Just, um, That's the mozzie and Brooker. Do you – so you, you coach, as you said, you coach a few of those um, pitching coach on the Blue Sox slash uh, New South Wales team. I know yeah. family life obviously is very strong for you now. Are we going to see you back? Are we going to see you back coaching? Because I think you are <laughs> – you have so much to give to this to this sport. Thanks, mate. Um, I don't know, I keep harping on the injury story, but that's how it's ended, unfortunately. I was involved in a car accident on the way home from work um, about four or five years ago now, and um, a semi-trailer hit me from behind. <laughs> and yeah, she's I needed with all the luck. Re- yeah. Wow. And I don't even have to be playing sport, mate. Yeah. And I needed another knee reconstruction. So that would be my third. Right. So um, that was kind of mid um our summer comp in the middle of our summer comp so I didn't kind of get to finish that that summer comp and then you know blessed with my third pregnancy with Cooper um after I'd rehabbed that knee and I just I, I've hit the phase where I, I just I feel like it, it kind of doesn't matter it's just I just have so many injuries it would I don't want to embarrass myself now by going out and you know I'm not in the right frame to to get back out there, which it, it makes me sad. I didn't get to finish again the way that I would have liked. So, but that's just obviously my story in general, I think just riddled with injuries on and off the field, just doesn't matter. Just it's plagued my career really, unfortunately. Well, I think it didn't affect your performance in any in any case, Brooke. I think we saw some of the very Aww, best from you, thanks, so it was mate. awesome to play with you, mate. But I know you do have a funny story in regards to your knee, one of your knee operations, and when you're going under the anaesthetic from memory. Do you want to? Was it? Was it? He, he, he. As you were going under, this could have oh, been. Oh, a... my! That was my first. Yeah. Oh my! Where are you going with this? <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, traumatic, really, um, was my first knee reconstruction. I had the same surgeon, would you believe, all three times, but that's another story. Um, do you so get I'm a about discount to go for under. that? He'd given me... Do you get the, th- do you get the third I one wish, through? I Frequent wish. flyers. I wish. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm about to go under. He's giving me the anaesthetic, you know, you're a bit woozy, and he says, uh, so we're doing the left knee today, right, Brooke? And I was like, I, I'm about to go under, and I'm like, no, 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 no. No, no, it's my right knee. Like, what do you say? Boom, gone. So I've woken up in recovery, absolutely panicking. I'm trying to rip at the sheets to to say and say to them, like, he's operated on the wrong knee. It's supposed to be my right knee. They're like, it's okay. You've had an operation. Calm down. You're hallucinating. I'm like, I'm not hallucinating. He told me. He, I, I'm like, oh. anyway. So 
I told him, I go back 10 years later for the one after birth and I say, don't you ever do that to me again. I said, you traumatised me. He was in shock. He's like, what are you talking about? I can't, I wouldn't have done that. I'm like, yeah, you did, mate. <laughs> That's so, why you need to write, um, yeah, I don't know. Texter, not this knee. <laughs> Yeah, well, they, they draw on them now, don't they? Like they they do now, probably because of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, and uh, what about what about coaching, Brooke? Is that something? I mean, it's yep. you've got a you've got an awesome family, and I can understand that. Why would you ever want to be away from them for very long with your boys? But um, they're a beautiful little family. But is it something that you'll ever, or is I mean, I know you're busy with teaching. Um, you've just got a new gig at a new school, yeah. which is pretty awesome. But um, what's what's your thoughts on in the future on coaching? Or I mean, I know your life's busy. Yeah, super busy now, mate. Three boys that keep me on my toes. Um, I absolutely loved it while I did it. I felt I also owed the game. You know, so much has been given to me over the years and I wanted to give back. Um, and now the tables have turned and, you know, it's the time. It's my time for my boys now. So yeah. um, as far as coaching, you know, that first year Lockie played T-ball, you know, sat back real quiet, hope no one knows who we have are. Have you been dragged into just... T-ball coaching now, huh? <laughs> We were originally, yes, um, every every now and again, but I just wanted to be mum and Luke just wants to be dad yeah. and just, you know, be on the sidelines and watch and, um, you know, you feel bad knowing that you could help and give a little, but at the same time, I just want to be mum and dad. So they've had a year off this year from baseball, but um, but they're pretty keen to get back into it. So we'll see. We'll see what the future holds, but um, we'll see. I'm very conscious not to force it onto my boys. You know, it's our sport. It's what we love. But if it's not what they want to do, you know, I'm really conscious not to, you know, enforce that on them. Yep. Well, um, if we don't see you back (laughs) around a baseball diamond from a women's perspective, we know that the sport is so much richer for having you in it for that shortish period. Uh, Thanks, Amy. It's like like, uh, (laughs) Kathy um, speaking to her like, yeah, like we would have loved to have had both of you longer in the sport, but just having you for what we had is, yeah, we're all richer for it. So thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming on. No, to thanks, mate. Thanks for having me, the mate. Podcast. It's the best, some of the best memories of my life is, you know, with you guys and what baseball provided for us. It's just, you know, memories that we'll have forever. So thank you, mate. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's very, for all of us, it's very late. Um, very, <laughs> yeah, very late. It's just time. fast all over time. Um so, yeah, we might get you back. We're planning potentially big gold medal game, who knows, live show. Maybe we'll, we'll patch you in. Um, Tani's running that show. She's actually producing that show. I'm she's, run- yeah, she's oh, calling. I, just, I look forward to it. I've heard of this. She's uh, calling. <laughs> she's called, I will host. She'll produce. She will like, get the lineups of the guests. We will just. What's it, what's it produ- oh, yeah, okay, we will just out. pull out whatever we okay. want in that um, that gold medal game. So we'll see how it goes. I'll be calling Brooke. Brooke's on my, uh, my quick dial here, so she'll be in. <laughs> Yeah, okay, you know, we'll do a live. I'm the cheese Maybe we'll just, You know what? Let's just do a live call of the game. And, Brooke, you can do the third inning. We'll just – we'll call it now. <laughs> live call of the game oh, would not... be dangerous with, with Brooke and I getting the giggles. Like, the mozzies in us. Like, it could take any any little thing and we'd be we'd be off and then just laughing. I said that to Amy. She said, lucky we've got the enforcer I was about here. to say, oh, what am I doing with two mozzies? I'm the enforcer. I just I needed – that's why Sam came in. She's the other enforcer. She was just, like, in the podcast. She's <laughs> Like forces and mozzies. Oh, we I need it. and we need a chameleon KG. Chameleon to just KG on. just to adapt to whoever she's around. It's so funny yeah. though. I I hundred percent believe that I would love to do that personality test now because I don't So yeah, yeah for, so those, would I. for those who have no idea. Yeah, okay, Tani, you explain. <laughs> Tani, you explain. There yeah. I mean we do talk off tangents a lot, just our own little points. But there was uh, <laughs> twenty when did we do this? Twenty ten? Was it twenty ten? Oh, I reckon I've done it. We had to do a it wasn't at a Melbourne camp, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it might have been. I, I, I've, done, um, I've done it twice at least because I know. Okay. Yeah. Um, an Australian uh, training camp, uh, we had to do a personality test based on um, sports psychology, etc. Um, and it comes out with results. And a lot of the girls who have been around for a while would have done this previously, but some of, some of the um, the younger girls might not have. And it would be interesting to see what they got. Mm. But um, you do a, a personality test and basically it gives you one of five I think it was five, one of five sort of uh, personality or characteristic traits mm. in terms of um, what kind of personality um, you are or where you perform best at more so. <laughs> so some people are um, sort of thinker, feeler sort of people who are very much like to sit in their thoughts and think about things, um, which is very much myself. <laughs> Not. Um, the test was broken that day. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, so there's people and there are players like that. And basically mm. whatever whatever your personality sort of trait was depended how you should sort of be in terms of when you're performing. So a, a mozzie like Brooke, for example, if you say to her before a, before a game like Brooke, just calm down, mm. like just sit down and shut up, that's not Brooke. <laughs> so she's not going to perform well in that state of trying to contain all these <laughs> excitements and passion so it's no about, and i mean it's, it works both ways in that sometimes thinkers get too much in their head as well before a game and you need yeah. to sort of get them out of their head but there's also an enforcer which old amac was an enforcer <laughs> thinker feeler enforcer mozzie which is the chameleon and yeah chameleon. i knew the one chameleon though only gain i don't think i knew of yeah them. well it's interesting because i think not only i think knowing what everyone was because obviously myself and sam being back then being the enforcers it was funny how when we were around a mozzie we'd always like you'd be literally buzzing around doing stuff like barks and you'd just be like just oh, i'm very i think barks, when barks yeah. got it she was like 99.9 percent mozzie i remember but she going, yeah. Was like, yeah, yeah, yeah so they had the little arc and i think sam and i were the absolute extreme of an enforcer i think barks was all the other end and then it finally like, it made sense where we like finally went oh i get it now yeah. And it was like just <laughs> understanding. And I think I personally think we didn't do enough of that and understanding. Yeah, that's, that. I mean, that's really interesting, that sort of stuff, in as to what mindset you perform best at and what works for Absolutely. you. Because we are, and like that Brooke mentioned that when she was talking about having the, the idiosyncrasies of the different pitches and what works best for them, that sort of mm, thing yeah. is definitely a necessity. And I think sometimes players don't necessarily know enough about where they perform best for themselves yep. too, especially younger years. Like you, you kind of learn yeah. to understand that the more you play, but yeah, definitely the younger players, that's, that stuff's really interesting. I think it, it all very much made sense to me. I know if I ever tried to shut up before a game, be quiet, everyone would be like, what, what the hell's yep. wrong with you? Like, it's just not where you're yeah. at. But again, I do know it changes um, with different, sometimes different career changes. It, it changes. And also having kids is a big, a big changer on yeah. that, that sort of thing. So it'd be interesting to see like Brooke, for example, if you're as much of a yeah. Muslim now as, as you were previously. Yeah, and I think playing, you know, being in the peak of your career and playing is exactly, it could be very different now when you're not, you know, I don't get that feeling ever in my life, in any other aspect of my life that you get at nationals. You yeah, know, yeah, that, that adrenaline. Bars, that, yeah. Height, that adrenaline, I don't get that anywhere else in life. You can't recreate mm. that feeling, which is, you know, just one of the best feelings you can get. So, yeah, it could very much be very different, you know, to what it was all those years ago. I'd love to go back and see that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I definitely, I'd love just, to do one now. I know I would definitely not be, I think there's still, I'd probably be a little bit more towards the thinker feeler. I think I've definitely changed. And I think, yeah, I think everyone would have definitely changed. Um, because, yeah, yeah, when you're, when you're young, like I remember when I first played the, my first Australian Victorian team, all, I, all you knew was just winning. I was just like, I don't know if it was yeah. DNA or it was just, and then you get to the second half of your career and you're like, oh, I wish I could have that first half back. But that was just who you were. Yeah. So yeah. maybe we'll, do, we'll uh, do an alumni personality test now, <laughs> see where we all are. I think I've still got them in a box in the <laughs> garage somewhere. Oh, no way. Probably. Up in the roof, you guys keep everything. We do keep <laughs> everything. My little first face picture. <laughs> It, don't ever, is it a, don't ever pitch, please. Again, I won't. <laughs> Where are you putting your first baseman? It's a pitcher. I, I mean, it looks like a Victorian pitcher. <laughs> so that makes sense. Well, it is two thousand and six, and we did win two thousand and five. <laughs> uh, maybe that's all they had on clip art back then. Yes, it's, clip it's art. Draw. It's MS Paint. It's um. It's, I think the Victorian team's next to the, um, a butcher's advertisement, I think. Yeah, I think we are. I think you're next to a dry cleaners. Yeah. It's, um, <laughs> Ipswich, Mus it's ancient. Ipswich Musketeers. No, it was a good nationals. Oh, I forget that it happened, but that's all right. Was. Um, <laughs> we could talk all night and I'd love to, um, but I need to get this edited and uploaded and downloaded. So the Victorians, give a shout out because I know the Victorians are having like little watch parties and I know that other people are watching. I get really nervous because people are actually watching this, which is why I'm doing it, but I'm still nervous. <laughs> so if you have something to say, the Vic, say it now. Kick a Vic. New South. Kick, Kick a Vic. Vic. <laughs> New South. Is that what you were hoping for, Amy? That's just all you're going to get. Remember I told you I wasn't editing this podcast? <laughs> yeah, I'm cutting out the last 30 <laughs> seconds. Still, I'm so loyal to our New South Bloods. 
Yes, no, we do. Was, okay, which which <laughs> colour are you staying loyal to? One of the 15 colours you've worn? Which one? Mate, it's, it's Patriots, about... Patriots, New South Wales, Blue Sox, who are you? Not about the colour, it's New South. That's what it's about. You ain't, you ain't a mozzie or a... You are literally a chameleon. That's why Katie's a chameleon. You're wearing 1,500 colours. Work out your identity. Doesn't matter to us what we're wearing, mate. Doesn't matter to, to us at all. It's got New South Wales on it. Well, hopefully we see New South Wales. I love all the other teams, but... I got... Hopefully we've seen New South Wales with the gold medal, but we'll take any other team. Um, thank you <laughs> for joining. Um, it's been awesome. Appreciate it. Thanks, Amy. Thanks for having Thanks, me, Mike. mate. No worries. Good to see you, girls.